His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sukhir Palace BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa and senior officials for discussions on Bahrain's continued participation in protecting Yemen in over an Operation Decisive Storm and Operation Restoring Hope alongside the Saudi led Arab coalition and the positive results of this honorable cooperation. The meeting also discussed future plans for improving and developing weaponry and BDF units. His Majesty the King lauded the role and efforts of the BDF in maintaining the security and stability of Bahrain. Foreign Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa met today with the U.S. Special Presidential Envoy for the International Coalition to counter ISIL, General John Allen. The minister reiterated Bahrain's rejection of terrorism in all its forms and its cooperation with all efforts to eliminate terrorism. He highlighted the coalition country's role in combating the Daesh terror group, confirming that this war is necessary for the security and safety of humanity. He voiced confidence that the forces of goodwill succeed in overcoming the danger of terrorism and eradicating it. For his part, General Allen commended Bahrain's role in combating terrorism and cutting off its financing, saying that Bahrain is considered an important element in the international coalition. He also expressed appreciation and pride in Bahraini-American relations and joint cooperation in various fields. The meeting also discussed regional and international issues and other matters of common concern. Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Isam Khalaf, took part in the 19th GCC meeting for Municipalities, Affairs, Ministers, which was held in Doha, Qatar. The meeting, chaired by the Qatari Minister for Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Khalifa bin Abdulaziz Al Thani, discussed the recommendations of the 31st meeting of senior GCC municipalities officials. The meeting also discussed developing municipal training centers and municipal monitoring, which would reinforce GCC municipal work and help it to keep pace with urban development in the region and the world. The meeting reviewed the issue of the GCC Award for Municipal Work and the Urban Development Agreement with the United Nations Development Programme on Urbanization Strategy. Mr. Khalaf confirmed the commitment of GCC countries to follow the urbanization strategy that includes developing road facilities and a unified construction code in addition to planning standards. The World Monuments Fund, the WMF, awarded the president of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, the BACA, Sheikh Amaya bint Mohammed Al Khalifa, the 2015 Watch Award, as she became the first Arab personality being granted this award. In recognition of the kingdom's cultural achievements and its leading role in preserving humanitarian and cultural heritage, Sheikh May and Queen Sophia of Spain were honored in New York at the annual La Hadrian Gala, which coincides with the World Monuments Fund's 50th anniversary. Sheikh May hailed Bahrain's leadership's keenness, headed by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, regarding developing the cultural field and maintaining the kingdom's rich history and heritage. Queen Sophia received the Hadrian Award in recognition of her tireless efforts to promote awareness and understanding of the cultural heritage of Spain. In line with the Interior Ministry's efforts to preserve security and public order across the kingdom, the police forces are continuing their legal and security duties to protect places of worship and ensure the safety of those attending them. Security forces ensure the safety of places of worship and religious events, including Ashura, which must stay within its religious framework. In line with the procedures for securing Ashura, security forces, according to the law, have dealt with some violations related to places, content, and public safety, such as objects placed in banned places, which can become dangerous to traffic and hanging political banners and flags that are not related to Ashura. Such practices threaten the social fabric and civil peace and are considered a violation of public road and private properties. In accordance with the requirements of public order, there are designated places in which to raise banners and police perform their legal and security duty in removing anything that violates the regulations. 
The Interior Ministry continues its efforts to protect the security of the homeland and ensure the safety of events and festivities. However, there are people who take advantage of such events to spread chaos and assault policemen, which require legal actions and assert the need to keep Ashura away from politics and law-breaking.